Yes, how to split text into cells with an Excel formula using filter XML function. Now, splitting out text from a cell like this into multiple cells, that's a task we've had throughout all of Excel history. And using features like text to columns or the more modern Power Query are a great way to go. But sometimes you want to do it with a formula. And we want to see how to get this formula to work. Now, I have no idea what XML language is. And below this video, Excelarium said, A. David has a great video about this function. And that's where I learned how to do this. Now, I don't know anything about XML language, so I went to W3Schools. That's a great website to learn different computer languages. And XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. And it is simple. All it does is store and transport data. Now look at this. The data we have are numbers. Together, they constitute all the text numbers. That's the text string here. But we want each individual piece. And XML language has a great way to do that. We'll define the entire text string, and then we'll define using an open and close container, in essence, a way to get each individual number so our filter XML function knows how to split. Now, for us, we're going to define all text as all text. That's the top element. And then within that element, we can have lots of numbers. Now, that means open. That means close. And then right in between, that's the bit of data. So this XML language is carrying that data. And the syntax is beautiful, less than, greater than, and the name of the parent object. And then to close it off, you repeat it, but with a forward slash. Open, close. Same with the elements. Open, close, 44. Open, close, 1145. And then open and close on the entire text string. What that means is we're going to use substitute to grab that comma and that comma and insert the open and close number container. Now notice this text string does not have the opening parent or root element or the open element for the first number. So in our formula, we'll open it up in double quotes. The root or parent element, less than symbol, all text. And you can put whatever word you want between less than and greater than. Then we need the first number. And you can put whatever text you want between less than and greater than. So that'll start it off. And then we use substitute. And we'll say, hey, look there, comma. We're looking for a comma. And we want to put in, well, notice for that first comma, we need a close for the 44 and an open for the 1145. So in double quotes, less than, forward slash, num, greater than symbol. That's the close on the number. And then the open. Now, if I close off substitute and highlight just this little part and hit F9, you can see, sure enough, the 44 is missing. Open, open, but there it is. There's the close for the 44. There's the open for the 1145 and the close. So, so far, it's working perfect because the open and close is what filter XML will use to split. Control Z. Now, I'm going to cheat and copy all of that. Ampersand. Control V. Whoops, I wanted close num and then a close all text. And if I hit the F9 key, there's our complete XML language to carry the full text string and all of the number elements. Control Z. Now we use that inside of filter XML. There's the XML. And for the path, we say what we want in double quotes, and we use two forward slashes, and then just state the element we want in double quotes, close parentheses. And that is amazing, F2. Now we can transpose, Control-Enter, and then copy it down. If I add a number here, just like that, it appears. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team and W3Schools. 
and we'll see you next video.